Oh, no. That's it. We all in. The whole swimming carnival has come down to Emily and Tennille, the fight to the death. <laughs> Holy smokes. Emily and Tennille, do you have any idea about what's about to happen? Oh, I've got no idea. <laughs> Inflatable balls. What the heck, man? This is it, the final round. Your teamwork's been brilliant so far, but now you're going up against each other, trying to get that time alone with Nick. And this final event is a Zorb ball race. Amazing. Today's come down to the final event. Two Zorbs that you climb in, two girls racing from 25 metres out to the finish line. Like a, like a hamster on a wheel, you've got to run and somehow generate momentum and hammer down the, the end of the pool. I don't know, it scares the hell out of me. So, ladies, it's really simple. The first one of you to cross the finish line wins that time alone with Nick. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go, Danielle. If I don't get this time with Nick, I feel like there's a good chance that I'm going home and I'm not ready to go yet. I would usually say it's anyone's game, but Emily is super fierce competitor. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this one. The, she's got that there. It's going to give her some traction. I hope Em gets it. I would rather Emily get the one-on-one -on -one time over Tennille because I think Tennille is pretty basic and I just don't really see her as Nick's type. I hope Emily can take it home. You've got this. You've got it. Keep rolling, mate. <laughs> Keep rolling, Em. I'm racing forward. I'm getting worried that Tennille is on my tail. I take a look behind me. Tennille's going backwards. Go, little hamsters. Tennille keeps falling over. Has Tennille started yet? Tennille just stand up and fall over, stand up, fall over, stand up, fall over. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what that technique was. She's going backwards. Tennille, this way. I felt like Tennille was more concerned about how she looked in the Zorb ball rather than, you know, actually trying to win. No, keep going, man. And Emily's just like graceful, going, yeah. And Tanil was just going all over the place, like, oh, where am I? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hands and knees, Tanil, hands and knees. You could tell within probably the first eight seconds that I'd be spending time with Emily today because Tanil was going the opposite direction. Tanil was going the other way now. And Emily was flying to the finish line. so hard today for this moment. I came in really wanting to get some time with Nick. <laughs> and I've got it. I can't wait to make the most of it. When I saw how I would be spending time with Emily, I'm not sure where this is going to go. Because I don't know her all that well yet. But I'm a bit curious about her. Oh, uh, beautiful. I want to get in the mix and see how we are together, how we interact, what naturally comes to the front. This could be a good <laughs> opportunity for me to feel her vibe and hopefully connect. And you never know, that could be a diamond in the rough. Cheers. Thank you so <laughs> much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you want any of this tucker? Um, yeah, no, I'm going to go some grapes. Yeah? Yeah, I'm getting there. I absolutely want to make a connection with Nick. I can already see that he'd be someone that I'd probably really get along with but I haven't had a whole heap of time and this could be the last chance to make a bit of a connection and you can see a bit more about myself. My first moment that I did meet you, Nick, I could see in your eyes and to your eyes and to your soul mm -hmm. that you're, you're just a genuine dude. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I get that I could probably see that you're, you're the footy player and, you know, that you're the larrikin and you're the two, but there's just, yeah, there is so much more to you, but I feel it. We haven't had a whole lot of time, and 
I'm just so thankful that we've got tonight now and I can f play a little bit of catch up because I'm here for a reason. The time is of the essence and there's so much I want to get to know about you still and hopefully you want to get to know a little bit more about me as well. Holy Moses. Straight off the bat. Conversation, it's getting down to business. No, I like that. It shows the sincerity in what, you know, she's talking about and I want to download that information. Going straight forward, I mean, why this experience for you? It's very different to anything I would have ever considered in the past. At the same time, I, I realise getting a bit long in the tooth now and, and naturally I, I want to start, start to look to find a partner that I can not settle down with right now. I don't want to do that. I want to, I've got things to do. Yeah. You know, I want to, I want to create like a, a team that we can launch out and, and conquer the world sort of thing. You know, Travel-wise, in career, in everything. Like, I want a partner in crime for sure. Do you feel like you need a partner, or do you feel like you'd, you'd, you'd like a partner? What is it? I definitely don't need a partner. Um, I'm at that point in my life where I'm just so happy with myself um, that I don't feel like I need to depend on someone. But by God, I would just love to share, you know, so many moments and have someone by my side. The more I sit and talk with Emily, the more I'm surprised. She's strong, she's smart, confident, and an awesome gal. All those things make for a beautiful connection that we can explore in the future. I think we have similar philosophies you know, when it comes to love. And one of those points you mentioned really stuck with me because it's pretty important to me is you don't need. You know, but at the same time, we, we want. Like, we mm. want to share a life with someone. And I said that I wouldn't waste anyone's time here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'll make time to go on a single date with you. Because I want to know from there further, because I know there's something so beautiful. I can see the, the surface, and I know it's an iceberg. <laughs> and, and for that. Are you kidding? <laughs> really? Em. Yes. <laughs> Will you accept this rose? I, I absolutely will. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Got a rose! <laughs> oh, I didn't think I would ever be saying this, but I've got a rose, and it was just such an amazing surprise. I definitely feel the spark, so I can't wait to see if there's more of that to come. <laughs>